the people. The man called Horse knew the English. Interesting facts about famous people. A Man Called Horse, a Western trilogy. Today I'm taking a look at a Western trilogy, a rare breed. You can probably count on one hand the number of Western movies that were followed up by more. The most famous probably being The Man With No Name trilogy by Sergio Leone with Clint Eastwood. If you enjoy this video, please head over to my channel and take a look at my other videos. The link is in the description. Apologies up front for any mispronunciation of names. I have very vivid memories of watching A Man Called Horse in the cinema as a child. Some things you just can't unsee. Rating 6.8 on IMDb, 86% on Rotten Tomatoes, with a 61% audience score. Some trivia. For his painful vow to the sun initiation ceremony scene, Richard Harris wore a prosthetic chest created by makeup artist John Chambers. Story. An English aristocrat is captured by Native Americans in 1825. After being taken captive and living with them, he begins to understand their way of life. Eventually, accepted as part of the tribe, he aspires to become their leader. The story is based on the experience of Cabeza de Vaca, a Spanish soldier captured by indigenous Americans in 1528. Actors that turned down the lead before Richard Harris accepted the role include Robert Redford, one of three notable westerns made from the stories of Dorothy M. Johnson, the others being The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962, and The Hanging Tree, 1959. Following up the first movie was The Return of a Man Called Horse, 1976. In the 1840s, Trappers with government backing pushed the Yellow Hand Sioux off their sacred land. They retreated into an apocalyptic spirituality, passively waiting for supernatural wrath to descend on their usurpers. Meanwhile, in England, Lord John Morgan feels his spirit weakened, so he returns to America to live again with the Yellow Hand. Finding them dispirited, he invigorates them as well as himself through self-imposed torture and other rituals. Once he convinces the clan to take direct action, Horse must devise a strategy to take the trappers forward. The clan's women and boys take on special assignments to aid the assault to regain the sacred land. IMDB's rating, 6.1. Rotten Tomatoes, 60%, with a 45% audience score. On account of this film, which George Lucas found to be better than its predecessor, he hired Irvin Kirshner to direct Star Wars Episode V. The Empire Strikes Back, 1980. Finally, and to complete the trilogy, Triumphs of a Man Called Horse, 1983. John Morgan lived three decades as a Sioux named A Man Called Horse in 1874. Gold was discovered in the Black Hills, on tribal land, guaranteed to the Sioux in the Laramie Treaty of 1868. Settlers pour in and white provocateurs try to prompt the Sioux to break the treaty, so that all-out war with the US forces will result in the land no longer being under Sioux control. They murder and make it look like Indians were responsible. Man Called Horse helps maintain calm among the tribe, but when a tragedy befalls him, it's left to his son, Coda, and Coda's lover, a crow named Redwing, to devise a strategy to keep the Argonauts at bay and the Black Hills sacred. Sam Peckingpaw was originally scheduled to direct at the behest of Richard Harris. Both had previously worked together on Major Dundee, 1965. Due to Peckingpaw's unofficial blacklist after his erratic behaviour on Convoy, 1978, he was replaced by John Hoare. IMDb, 5.3. Rotten Tomatoes, 50% audience score. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me your comments. I really appreciate your likes, shares and subscribers. As always, please hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take it easy. Bye for now. See you again soon.
Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.